In this video, I am going to explain how the demand curve is derived from the marginal utility curve. We will start with the marginal utility curve and the law of diminishing marginal utility. Marginal utility curve slopes downwards. It shows that as consumers consume more of a good, they get less extra satisfaction from each additional unit consumed. Marginal utility is measured in units of measure that are called utils. More utils represents more additional satisfaction and less utils represents less additional satisfaction. But exactly how much satisfaction is 10 utils is hard to tell. It becomes more clear when we start measuring extra satisfaction in dollars rather than utils. Suppose I consume the 12th unit of a good and I got so much additional satisfaction from it. For me, it is that much satisfaction that I will be willing to pay $10 to get it. When I consume the 20th unit of a good, I get so much satisfaction from consuming that additional unit. For me, it's worth $5 and I will be willing to pay $5 to buy the 20th unit of this good. So, more satisfaction I get from consuming an additional unit, I will be willing to pay more. Less additional satisfaction I get from consuming an additional unit, I will be willing to pay less. Suppose I'm a consumer and I'm going to a shop to buy some pizza slices. When I buy each additional slice, I'm not going to pay a lower price for it. I will pay the market price for each slice that I buy and that's the same price for each one. So I buy the first slice of pizza, I consume it and I get so much satisfaction from it that I value it at $2.5. I have paid just $1.5 for it, so I got much more satisfaction than I paid for and I feel very happy. I go and I buy the second one. I get $2 satisfaction from it and I paid $1.5. Again, a good bargain for me. I got more than I paid for. When I buy the third slice and consume the third slice, I got $1.5 satisfaction from it and I paid $1.5 for it. That's a pretty fair deal, so I'll buy the third one. What about the fourth one? Am I going to consume the fourth slice of pizza or not? If I buy the fourth slice and eat it, I will get only $1 satisfaction from it, but I have to pay more than that. I have to pay $1.5. So I'm not going to buy the fourth slice because price will be greater than additional satisfaction that I'm going to get. So consumers will stop buying at this point here where price equals marginal utility. This relationship is called optimum purchase rule and it states that consumers will continue buying until price equals marginal utility. So finally we are moving from the marginal utility curve to demand curve. The marginal utility curve slopes downwards. It shows that as consumers consume more of a good, they get less extra satisfaction from each additional unit consumed. The demand curve also slopes downwards. The demand curve shows the relationship between price and quantity demanded. So, in conclusion, to explain the shape of a downward sloping demand curve, or to answer the question why consumers are willing to buy more only at a lower price, always use the following two concepts. First, the law of diminishing marginal utility and the second, the optimum purchase rule.